The tool I'm about to show you guys in today's video is going to change the way we create content or ever. I like making money through social media. I'm sure you guys do too, but I absolutely dread editing my video and scripting it out to its full extent. These tasks are so time consuming. And if you're a content creator, I know you know what I'm talking about. Today, all of that changes as I'll show you guys an AI tool where you input an idea and the AI will do all the rest of the work. I am dead serious. It will script the video. It will find stock footage. It will grab relevant sound effects. It will slide in background music and it will even add subtitles all with one singular prompt. With AI, it has literally never been easier to make a faceless automated YouTube channel. And with the tools I'm going to show you guys today, you can get started in just a couple of minutes because once again, it takes one prompt. All right. So the first step in creating our faceless YouTube channel is figuring out the niche. People always ask me, what are the highest earning niches? And I'll just cut to the chase. Here they are on screen. Now, if you make videos on any of these niches, the CPM is going to be very high. And if you don't know what CPM is, it basically means for every a thousand views, this is how many dollars you're going to make. So typically in these high earning niches, you'll have CPMs of $10 and more, meaning for every a thousand views, they're going to get $10. However, just because the these are the highest earning niches does not mean that they're the most profitable niches. Wait, what? This is because there's just so much competition in these high earning niches. And you got to think about it. 30 seconds ago, when I told you these are the highest earning niches, you probably thought to yourself, damn, well, I got to start making content revolved around these topics. And don't get me wrong, these topic ideas do make a ton of money and it's not a bad idea to make content around it. But the problem is everyone else and their mother is also trying to make content in these specific niches because they know it pays so much. And because there's so much competition, it actually becomes hard to be profitable in these specific niches because you're competing against so many other people. Now, if you compare this to a niche that not many people are making content in, it actually becomes a lot easier to get views and therefore earn money. So that's why with today's video, we're going to be picking a completely unsaturated niche. And the way you find unsaturated niches is you find a big niche and then divide that niche into like six different sub niches. Damn, I feel like I probably said niche 50 times in the last two minutes. Alrighty, so a really good starting point with finding a good niche is using ChatGPT. So I'll have this prompt down in the description, but it states, give me a list of 40 plus unsaturated niches for my YouTube channel. Be specific with your choices and ensure that it's possible to make automated or faceless content in these niches. So ChatGPT is going to give us a list of a whole bunch of different specific faceless ideas that you guys can apply to YouTube channels in which you can start. I like this prompt a lot because it gives you some really unique ideas ideas and not just the generic, oh, make sports videos or make gym videos, which are very general. And a lot of these ideas you probably never would have thought of. For example, like meditative drawing, that is incredibly niche, but there's probably not a lot of people making content in this specific topic, which makes it a pretty good idea. Now, I really like this idea of historical mysteries or just like historical type videos, but I think we can niche this down even more. So instead of just doing general historical mysteries, I want to make it Canadian historical mysteries, which is a sub niche of historical mysteries. All right. Now that we have our niche picked out, it's time to start creating ideas for our YouTube channel. And ChatGPT is a fantastic resource that you can use to find ideas. But there is another way that, in my opinion, is just so much better. And I'll get to that in a couple seconds. So I asked ChatGPT, give me 10 Canadian historical mystery video ideas for my YouTube channel. And these are some great ideas that we could utilize with the AI tool I'm about to show you later on in this video, but there's a way better way of finding video ideas and nobody is talking about this method online. Now, the best way to find video ideas is to steal like a pirate, but piracy is bad and that's why you got to steal like a good pirate. So when I say steal like a good pirate, what I mean is just take inspiration for what other channels in your niche are currently doing and then apply that to your videos, but make them better or put a unique 
spin on that video. So for example, our channel is going to be about Canadian mysteries of history. So when I search up Canadian history, I can see a few channels that post similar videos to this. And I can go on this channel right here called Canadiana or Canadiana. I don't know how to pronounce it. It doesn't matter. Anyways, we can see they're posting history videos on Canada. And if we go to popular, we can see what's working best for them. You can see their most popular video when Americans built a road across Canada. Another one, how the American Civil War made Canada, Sudbury and the mysteries of the universe. I'm already thinking of some good ideas I could do in my head for this channel. And you also need to take into account this channel only has 71,000 subscribers, but some of their videos are reaching 400,000, 300,000, 300,000 views. So this means that this niche is pretty unsaturated and there's a very good chance our videos could perform well in the algorithm. But now you're probably wondering what's this secret way of finding video ideas from channels in your niches. I didn't really explain that yet. And this is what you want to do. So first I'm going to zoom out on the screen and I'm going to get the top most popular videos on this channel. So here we have the 16 most popular videos on this Canada channel. And next thing I'm going to do is take a screenshot. I'm just using the snipping tool. And with the snipping tool, I'm just going to screenshot all of the videos on this channel and I'm going to save it to my computer. Now the next thing we're going to do is go over to ChatGPT and in ChatGPT I'm going to upload this screenshot that we just took. And the next thing I did is ask ChatGPT identify the videos posted on this YouTube channel and then find good video ideas that would perform well in this niche. If you don't know ChatGPT has a brand new feature where you can literally upload images and ChatGPT will just know everything that's on that image. It is such an underrated feature. Unfortunately it's only in the plus version of ChatGPT where you have to pay like $20 a month. Honestly, I've been using this every single day in my workflow. It is unreal. And based off our prompt, you guys can see ChatGPT understood the context of the channel so that it knows it's about Canadian history and geographic mysteries. And then using that information, it has now given us a list of different topic ideas we could use for our YouTube video that we're going to be creating with the next tool, which is in NVIDIA's AI prompt tool. Now, maybe you've heard of NVIDIA before, or maybe you've even heard of this tool, but you haven't seen the upgrades to this tool. It is phenomenal. And I can't wait to show you guys how this tool can pump out a video in one singular prompt. And you guys can try it out using the link down below completely for free. Yes, you heard that right completely for free, but don't go anywhere yet because you need to see the features that this tool has and people just just don't know about. I don't know. I'm just so excited to show you. I've always imagined a tool where you just input an idea and it literally does the rest for you. And now the fact that it's finally here is just so cool. And what's even crazier is that this is probably the worst it's ever going to be. And the worst is still pretty awesome. So in order to get your video created, you're going to need a really good starting prompt. And thankfully, I've created my very own prompt that you guys can go ahead and screenshot, pause the video, copy it, or you can go down in the description and copy it from there. So here's how the prompt works. First, create a and then length of the video. So if we want a six minute video, you're going to put that in there. I would recommend for your starting video, maybe make it like three to six minutes long. And then in the long run, if you want to make longer videos, that's how you're going to earn more money because you can place more ads on your videos. So if you're just starting out with YouTube or just starting out with this tool, I highly suggest running with a very short video. And that's just because if you're starting out a YouTube channel for the first time, it's going to be very difficult to create content that is engaging and is over 30 minutes long. So I'm going to set it to a five minute video. And then here we can put in the social media platform. Obviously we're running with YouTube today. Now, although ChatGPT gave us some fantastic ideas for the idea, which is next up. We're just going to run with the top five most beautiful places in Canada. The next states, this video will go on your, and then this is where you want to put YouTube if that is the social media platform you're using. Next, just put in the name of your channel. Although this isn't for a specific channel, we're just going to call this channel Canada Kingdom. And then we need to put in our niche, which is Canadian historical and informational videos. The next is going to be the tone of our video. And I think we're going to go with like kind of a more serious 
serious educational vibe. So I'm going to put serious tone and I want the voiceover to be from a male with a Canadian accent. Usually the AI isn't able to pick up Canadian accents compared to American because they sound very similar. Next, we have to put what our goal is going to be. And my goal is to educate people on the five prettiest places in Canada. And then finally, we have to add in what type of music we want. I just put, I want lo-fi background music, which sounds pretty good in most YouTube videos. And the last thing that we need to do is simply hit generate a video. And then video is going to do all these different things to create an entire video, all from this one prompt that you guys copy and pasted from the description. Like how cool is that? And while we're waiting for this AI tool to make our idea into an actual video, if you guys go down and leave a like on this video, it would mean a ton. And bam, we're back. And then video just has a few more questions to ask us. So it wants to make sure on the audience, if it wants to go on a more historical point of view or a travel enthusiast point of view. And I think I might go with the travel enthusiast point of view, the look and feel we're going to keep professional and the platform. The only one is YouTube and man, oh man, I'm excited to see what this video ends up looking like already. And just a couple minutes later, our video is complete and let's see how it turned out. Your gateway to the great white North's majestic landscapes and diverse beauty. Our expansive nation is a treasure trove of awe inspiring destinations. Coming in fourth place, we have the iconic Niagara Fall. This majestic waterfall straddling the border of Ontario and New York is a sight to behold. I mean, come on guys. The fact that one prompt was able to generate this video is absolutely insane. It understood that we wanted a top five list and actually ordered it throughout different chapters. But not only that, it added in the relevant background footage to what it was actually talking about. When it was going over the Niagara Falls slide, every single video was actually footage of the Niagara Falls and the information he was talking about was legitimate. It was real. But not only that, the tone, it was very serious. The narrator had a very serious tone, but I don't know if I really liked it, but it did stay true to what I asked and it also added in lo-fi background music. But what's craziest is probably something you might have not even picked up on. And that's the fact that it used a hook and also used a retention hack, which not many people know about or know how to use. And the fact that AI understood this is crazy to me. I'll show you what I mean. So right before he's about to get into the top five list, he states this. Stay tuned as we unveil the five most stunning destinations in Canada. Stay tuned as we unveil the top five most stunning destinations in Canada. This is quite literally a retention hack. Trying to get people to watch your video for longer by telling them to stay around till the end is a retention hack. And the fact that this AI tool understands that is mind blowing to me. All right, but if you thought that was the best feature of this tool, no, 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 no. It just keeps getting better. If you have any feedback about the video that you like or don't like, what you can do is type down in this box right here, your criticism. So my criticism is that I want the AI to add in a subscribe and like call to action after the second place listed in this list video and watch the magic unfold after we input one singular prompt and it understood what exactly what we wanted. So let's play out the video. Before we reveal the number one spot, let's take a brief pause. If you're enjoying this journey through Canada's most beautiful spots, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. This is crazy. This is absolutely crazy, mind blowing technology. It perfectly adds in the subscribe and leave a like call to action. And it's not like it just adds it in randomly. It's not like the script is talking about one place and then all of a sudden it's like subscribe and leave a like. No, it perfectly transitions into the script. So it just feels so like natural. That's something I would personally write in one of my scripts for my own videos. Now to just show a different use case here, I us add in louder background music and you can see in video has done that let's play it back untouched beauty beyond the stunning lake banff national park is a so you can hear that it's significantly a lot louder now these ai prompts are super cool but the next thing we got to try is actually editing ourselves which you can do in in video which i just think is awesome so you can go and hit the edit button here and from there you can see the entire script of each scene and it will highlight it and let's say there's something that you don't like in the script you could choose to remove that from the script or add on to it by going to the edit script 
start button. And let's say I just didn't really like this line here. I can delete it. And in addition to that, you can actually add in the text that you want to show up on screen. So let's say you wanted some subtitles. Let's say I wanted this subtitle to show up here beyond the stunning lake. We can go and hit the text icon here. And then I'm going to set it to the lower third. And then I can type in what I want to show up as the subtitle. I can type in stunning lake. And now stunning lake is going to pop up when this part of the script happens. Now what's even cooler is that let's say there's some part of the stock footage that's used that you don't really like or don't want in your particular video. Well, you can find that particular stock footage and remove it from your video and upload your own content that you have on your computer. As you can see, I just added a pizza to this scene. Obviously it doesn't apply, but just to showcase how this works. So once you are happy with your video and you're finished editing it, you can go ahead and go to export here and export video. Now, obviously you want to export in the highest quality. So we're going to do 1080p. And then if you don't want any watermarks on the stock footage, you will need to upgrade to a paid plan because this is going to be a free tutorial. We're just going to run with the stock watermarks and then our NVIDIA AI branding. We're just going to hit as normal. Now what's awesome too, is that this AI tool gives you an AI generated title. Although I'm sure we could probably think of something better. It's just an awesome feature to add on to the millions of other features that NVIDIA AI has to offer. Like when I tell you this is going to be the content automation king and it is probably going to be the future of content automation, which is why I harp so much on every content creator to use AI as much as possible in your workflow, because whether you like it or not, it is going to be used in every avenue of our life in the future. Already, so our video is rendered and now we can download it to our computer and upload it to YouTube. And really the last step would be creating a thumbnail for this video. Thunderous roar. And as you can see, it's downloaded to the computer. It's working in full 1080p quality. And yeah, you guys got to try out this tool. I am telling you, it is the coolest thing ever. And it's only going to get better. Keep in mind, this is the worst it's ever going to be, which is just so unreal to think about. But if you like videos like this, subscribe to the channel and follow me on Twitter. I'm trying to be a lot more active over there. See you guys in the next one.